The project that I'm uh, presenting is um, Fabrications, uh, my creative uh, capital project, which is part of a larger pro project I've been working on since 2007 called Theory of Survival. Um, thank you. In 2006, while doing a residency at the Center for Art and Public Life at CCA, I came across an archive of dissent belonging to the Iranian Student Association based in Berkeley, California. From 1960 to 79, while the U.S. flooded Iran with military aid and economic aid, thousands of Iranian students studying abroad joined the anti-imperialist, anti-racist, and anti-war struggles going on around them. Being outside of Iran, they also felt responsible to share their first-hand knowledge as an archive of evidence that contradicted the official narratives of both the U.S. and Iranian governments. To that end, every strike and demonstration, every arrest, trial, sentencing, and execution that happened in Iran was a call to action for the student movement abroad. Um, an ongoing campaign to free political prisoners in Iran sometimes, including prolonged hunger strikes and at times extreme actions, such as chaining themselves to the crown of the Statue of Liberty or the Golden Gate Bridge, leading to many arrests and imprisonments in this country. ISA also published feverishly, researching, translating, and distributing their revolutionary ideas widely in this country, as well as smuggling them back to Iran. For my creative uh, capital project, Fabrications, I've begun creating handcrafted and ma manufactured replications of these historical archives, exalting, transforming, and commodifying the powerful uh, graphic imagery and ideologies found within the collection to create objects of fine art as well as of the everyday. Taking inspiration of the marketing strategies used for the promotion of religious ideologies, I've been uh, using various mediums um, such as beaded curtains, broken glass, assemblage, uh, assemblages, uh, pound uh, felt carpets, ceramic and lacquer sculptures, as well as uh, silk screen fabrics, mirrored aluminum, gold plated brass, and jewelry that carefully replicate portraits, logos, slogans, maps, and newspaper headlines, creating monuments and memorials to historical events and people that were systematically erased um, in the official accounts of Iranian history. By bringing the underground culture of protest to the surface, the project investigates the connection between radical movements across times and geographies through the examination of the specific um, experience, Iranian experience. Fabrications will continue, um, I'm sorry, to collect further materials and stories. And um, while collaborating with artists, scholars, and activist institutions, uh, creating a unique opportunity to interact with these archives of passionate discourse theorizing devotional sacrifice to create a dialogue and exchange that investigates notions of martyrdom, heroism, freedom, and loss. Bound by a common language, historical circumstances, and the experience of migration and exile, each invited artist scholar brings his or, his or her own curiosity, attachment, connections, and stories to respond to this library of underground um, publications and banned books, reflecting the theoretical frameworks of its era. In this way, the archive becomes a vehicle for reconnecting, remembering, and renegotiating historical events of personal, national, regional, and glo global significance. Fabrications will be presented as a space of commerce inspired by traditional bazaar developing branding and fabricating locally while creating a flexible system of presentation that can be replicated in a variety of, of venues, nationally and internationally, hopefully, and to further its cross-cultural uh, reach, exchange, and collaboration. The installation of the pop-up bazaar will stem from an intensive research on ornamental techniques used within traditional Islamic and Persian architecture. The primary elements will be a modular structure that is collapsible and easy to travel to create various spaces of commerce and storytelling, weaving the traditional with the contemporary, connecting past and present. 
I've been working closely with Southern Exposure in San Francisco, thank you, Courtney, wherever <laughs> you are, for the production of this phase of the project. I look forward to experimenting with three-dimensional structural sculpture and modular architectural forms that house the various elements of the installation, transforming the space um, into pathways, retail booths, uh, performance platforms, and seating areas to allow the audience um, direct interaction with various elements of this installation and uh, to become performers and active participants of, in the concept of the project. Um, can I say quickly, what I need is venues. I'd like to travel my pop-up bazaar. So come see me. <laughs>